Okay, so here's how I've connected my adapter. You can see that I plugged stuff into the breadboard, and what I tried to do was make a rough correspondence between the pins, the way they would be oriented on the clip, and how they're oriented on the breadboard. And also I tried to make sure the colors are the same. So again, you know, orange to orange, green to green, purple to purple, and then I'm using black instead of white for the ground. So you can see here that I put them on the second to outer row or column, depending on your perspective, of the breadboard. And the reason for that is because the Deddy Prog has a nice little adapter like this that it basically plugs right into a breadboard. So this particular adapter is meant for back in the day when you would have these sort of spy flash chips that, you know, had the pins through the holes or which would plug into a socketed connector. And so this would then plug into the same socketed connector. So I actually have a machine off to the side here that does take this sort of socketed connector. And so this can be useful for plugging into that. So what I can do with this adapter is I can just go ahead and plug it into my Deddy Prog as normal. And then I can plug it into the breadboard, making sure that I have the orientation correct. Now, thankfully, Deddy Prog is using consistent coloring. So if I look at this, I can see that this one right here is white. And on my original chip clip, white was the ground pin. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in in this orientation. And it slots in there nicely. And there we go. Now the Deddy Prog is correctly oriented so that it's essentially just a pass through to this. Now, at this point, it would be prudent to take this and connect it to my spy flash chip, making sure to set the pin one where the dot is. So connect it in that orientation. And then I would run the Deddy Prog in order to make sure that everything is connected correctly and that I can correctly identify the chip, which actually I can see that my plug unplugged off camera here. So there we go. And so now I should run Deddy Prog to make sure that it's all working. Now, if you don't have this sort of adapter, then you're going to have to do things the slightly harder way, but not that hard. So you're just going to, again, use adapting wires. And, you know, for instance, you can use the same convention of black to ground. So I can go one, two, three, four, five down. One, two, three, four, five down. Plug this in there and then plug this into ground on my breadboard. And same thing, you know, power and so forth. So basically you would just, you know, take your adapter wires and connect everything up to the correct pin on the breadboard. And then, you know, later on, you're gonna do the same thing with the Sele connecting it to the appropriate thing.